Welcome back to Instables, everyone. Again, a follow through on our bounce back that we had from Friday. Are we going to continue on back above our eight day as we lead into Wednesday's Fed Minutes report? I'm going to go over exactly what we're looking for from here. Hit the like button if you enjoy, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and if you are a day trader, if you're looking for pre-market news before market open, major volatile movers at very key levels like we had here with GNS today, if you guys did see this major spike, again, continuing on above high of day at 157, up to 175, a nice breakout that we had in the Instables room, go to instables.com in the description below, and for only $15 a month, you will never miss a breakout alert throughout the day again. Let's jump into this one. <laughs> So jumping into the spy with you guys here again, looking at our daily candle structure as we anticipate Wednesday's Fed minutes. Again, unexpected exactly what may happen next, but with a possibility of a bullish move, we mentioned that we could possibly retest our eight day. And now we are retesting our eight day. In my opinion, if we are going to continue on with this bounce back, we need to close back above our eight day. We need our eight day to cross back above our 21. Until that happens, we are not confirmed on our swing momentum. Again, a major resistance that I would be looking out for here is exactly on our eight day. And we are very much testing here at 448, looking for that possible close again above our eight day here. So again, that's what we're watching out for as we continue to respect lower highs here. Again, this could be that possible false break to the upside, possible engulfing handle lower, and then a possible bounce back from there. We will see exactly what happens leading into Fed minutes on Wednesday. But again, very much looking at exactly how we do close on the week will show us those possible continuations into our prior gap downs that we had for the last couple of weeks. So again, that's what we're looking for as far as our continuation. Now looking at our weekly candle structure again, as we were testing our eight weekly moving average, now opening higher here as we were testing our eight weekly moving average here. Now we're looking for that possible close above our eight weekly moving average, looking for that engulfing candle to completely cover our prior wick and body for that possible bounce back. If that does not happen, this could result in a wick to the upside and a possible continuation to retest our 21 weekly moving average. That's what we're watching out for as we close this candle still on our weekly chart. Again, leading into the end of the week, we want to make sure we watch our weekly candle structure so we can anticipate what we're looking for on our daily chart. Now looking at our monthly candle structure again, as we were running into resistance, again, opening inside of our prior body's candle, being cautious and again, mentioning that we were closing this month still and that we could have a wick to the downside here. So that was that bounce back that we were looking for short term. And now again, looking for that proof of concept, will we possibly continue on above resistance here for that overextension above highs of 2021 that we had here? So again, that's what we're looking out for. Will we overextend? Will we continue to respect our eight month moving average is what we're looking out for overall on our long perspective. So again, this is our intraday swing and long perspective. Again, key resistances. We are testing our eight day moving average as we look for that close above our eight weekly moving average. Very much looking to see exactly how we digest Wednesday's Fed minutes will be key. It will depend on what Powell says, what exactly the Feds mentioned. Are they bullish leading into our next Fed rate hike or are they bearish lately? They have been pretty hawkish. We'll see if they do continue on with that tone. And in my opinion, that would be that bounce back here, back above our eight day moving average. Again, if we do close back above our eight day, guys, this is super bullish short term. So again, this is, in my opinion, that possible continuation if we can close and hold above with that proof of concept above our eight day moving average. Now, again, with that said, again, if you are a day trader, if you're looking for pre-market news, major volatile movers, confirmation like we look for here on the SPY, again, major movers like we mentioned with GNS, also mentioned TSHA very early in pre-market, continued on higher, looked for a continuation on above pre-market highs, looking for proof of concept, bouncing off of our five minute moving average, continued on higher here on a spike midday, a very nice continuation from pre-market news that we mentioned in the Instables room again, two and a half hours before market open, any major mover at very key levels, go to instables.com in the description below. And for only $15 a month, you will never miss a breakout alert throughout the day again. And again, all of you Instables, I appreciate every one of you guys for supporting the channel. We will continue to go at it and take what the market gives us as we have been here with TSHA, GNS, multiple movers that we have been mentioning that we will continue to stay focused on and very much cautious leading into Wednesday's Fed Minutes, of course. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate you guys very much. And again, God bless you all. I'll see you guys in pre-market.